symptoms that are due to cardiac arrhythmias or dysrhythmias depend upon whether the heart rate is fast or too slow and whether it's coming from the upper chambers or the lower chambers. In general, heart rhythm disturbances that are too slow can result in patients being lethargic or not having enough energy to get through the tasks of the day. Now that's a tough diagnosis because who doesn't have enough energy to get through the tasks of the day? The number one complaint in doctor's offices is, doctor, I'm tired all the time. And there's a list of things as long as my arm that can cause that, only one of which is heart rhythm disturbances. When the slow heart rhythm disturbances get severe enough, people start passing out or getting lightheaded, feeling like they're about to pass out, what we call presyncope is the medical word for that. The fast rhythm disturbances are, are quite different. If the fast rhythm arises from the upper chambers of the heart, it depends upon how the lower chambers respond to that. If the upper chambers, remember, lub dub, lub dub. If these are going lub, 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 all the time firing signals, then the lower chambers can be going like this, or maybe the block between them is such that they don't fire very fast. If they're firing fast, patients don't do well with that they start feeling rapid heartbeats within their chest. Because the lower chambers are supposed to relax, fill, pump, when they're going very fast, they don't have time to fill. So the amount of blood that the heart is pumping is diminished. And patients have fatigue, but not a little fatigue, profound fatigue, out of proportion to the activities that they've done that day.